As we all know from Halifar Forge, there's an object limit. And normally when you hear it, some really peculiar and weird stuff tends to happen. And unsurprisingly, Halo 1 itself has its own object limit. Now, obviously there's no easy means of reaching it, because most of them require having two plays and having one kill the other about, I'd say like 20 times. But today I'm going to show you an easy way in which to reach the object limit, and we're going to see what happens when we reach the object limit. Now for those wanting to replicate what I do in this video, all you've got to do is look in the description and there'll be a link to something called Dev Cheats. Once you've downloaded that, all you need to do is open up the zip, zip file itself, find your Halo CE directory, which is easy enough, you just right mouse click on the shortcut for Halo Custom Edition, or the Combat Evolve version, because it does work for both. Go open file location, scroll up, go controls, Open up the zip file, get dev cheats, both of them, but not the readme. Drag them in here, and you, you should be good to go. Now all you gotta do to actually spawn a bunch of these, click home to enable the hotkeys, and then you just gotta click home to respawn. Now as a little tip, whatever direction or keys you're pressing, when you click respawn, they'll constantly be pressing. So if I shoot, that one will constantly shoot if I have and I jump for this one to constantly be jumping. If I try and do both, I can do both. It should be able to run. It doesn't allow me to move and jump at the same time very easily. Except for let me do it sideways. Nope, oh, killed one. Now, yeah, yeah, just as a little observant, we go camera budget one. Should have this. And if I shows me the max object limit. Which is 256, or at least the rendered, which is the amount of I can see within or rendering. And the actual max object limit itself is how many it can have in a single level, which is 2048. There's a lot of other details there, like effects, lights, de details, particles, and stuff, but most of them aren't necessarily important for what we're doing, because all we're trying to do is exceed the mass object limit. Now, we'll be doing this in fairly different ways of that's making a group of Spartans and then grenade killing them all or Okay we hit 100% Let's start adding some more of these Now if I go debug camera Save and then load Now when you hit the actual limit which is 512 this is when things start to actually stop rendering which is what I'm trying to target for but it turns out to be a lot harder than I suspected and obviously the problem with this is trying to get the actual limit is that as you can see things stop, start to stop loading or at least aren't in view and they'll start to fuzz out now I've, I've never had memory of doing this and doing it where I didn't need to put the camera up here, but obviously due to this being pretty dodgy on the game's engine, the game tends to crash a lot and just doesn't allow me to spawn them at a certain point. So that's how to do it. If you can actually do it without needing to chuck a camera up here, do send me a video of it because I would be interested to get some other footage of it where you're actually down there in the live pod and you're able to see all this happen. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this pretty wacky video and I hope to see you again all soon.